it was a tragedy that happened in the blink of an eye. 17 year old Emily Browning and 10 friends were driving from a friend's house in Altoona to another friend's house in Mitchellville when tragedy struck. A flash flood swept their three vehicles into Mud Creek. When I first arrived in the squad with Roy, um, Brew had been there for a couple of minutes, uh, Chief Brew Baker, and we approached him and he said all he knew was a car had gone off the road and he knew there was a couple of kids um, they were within shouting distance right there in the tree, and initially that's all we thought we had. Uh, you know, the cars maybe, uh, they were traveling, going to Mitchellville and down a country road that is always dry, and uh, one run into the, you know, they hit the water and then started breaking, then another car is into the water, you know, touches each other. Water's knee deep going across the road, and it, it's moving across there pretty fast, and the cars got pushed right into that creek. This was in the middle of the country, so, I mean, the, basically what had flooded was a creek that was about as wide as us right now, but it had turned into a river moving 40 and 50 miles an hour. So we have farm fields, barbed wire fences, trees, downed trees, stumps. We've got all kinds of debris, and who knows where these cars are. It's really difficult because you're walking by the area, you can hear them scream. And, and both Caleb and I were looking at the water and it was going so fast, and we go, there's no way on earth we're going to go through this water. A police officer, Polk County Sheriff, he come walking through the water towards me and he said, we got more kids down here. We need to start calling people. This is bad. We got kids spread out for, I think I told him it was about half a mile. Uh, once we did finally get some boats out there, they would run fine and then they would come across an area where their propellers would hit ground. So now that boat is out of commission. We need a lot of people. I said we need boats and we need to get them here as fast as we can because, you know, we're dealing with the four of us. And at the time, we were hearing everywhere from 10 to 15 kids were out there in these trees. We've all dealt with a lot of situations like nothing like this. A lot of serious situations. These gentlemen, you know, deal with life and death. Um, but we just had to go for it. And a couple of times, we had to talk to each other, Roy and myself, and say, you know, we got to be more careful. We had to stop and take a break and kind of think things out because you tend to just plunge in feet first. And in that scenario, it would have been bad for us. Both Caleb and I got pulled on the water several times, trying to <clears> shoot <throat> those kids. And then you realize we need to do something else to get those kids out of the trees, because most of them were hanging onto trees or sitting in trees. Personally, it's never a question on whether or not I'm going to do it. It's how. So there was uh, three cars ended up being uh, swept into the creek and taken on downstream. Uh, kids initially, the, the girls told us we had a total of 12 involved with uh, 11 rescued by these gentlemen and the other fire departments. There was six different departments helped us respond. And actually, even a department from West Des Moines was tripped over to help us. I feel like any other person on our department would have done the same thing. It's nice to get recognition for what you do, but I mean, it does not mean that I'm going to wear a shirt that says hero on it. <laughs> I knew what I was getting into when I applied for this job. This is why I do it.